Welcome back, AP gang. I just got the shower. Don't mind me. But you guys, we're getting the chandelier hung today. I'm super excited. And if you're an oldie baguette, you kind of already know the situation. While I'm talking to y'all, because the people are on their way, I need to like, kind of like, um, straighten up my bed. So I'm going to talk to y'all, and I'm going to straighten up my bed. But let me open the shade over here real quick. Okay, so if you're an oldie baguette, you kind of already know the situation with the chandelier. Well, I feel like you guys can't see me. Hold on, let me brighten it up a little bit. Okay, y'all already know the situation with the chandelier. How it's just been like a whole long, drawn out mess. Half of it is because of me, because I'm a type of person where um, I'm going to negotiate and I'm not just dropping all my money like no I'm gonna I'm gonna shop around and see if I can find the best deal so in saying that I seen this RH chandelier it was nine thousand dollars okay I don't know y'all can't see me I'm gonna have to keep y'all over here so anyway it was nine thousand dollars I don't know who or what RH who RH think I'm not paying nine thousand dollars I don't care if I love you God the Lord himself came down here and handmade it for me. I'm not paying nine thousand dollars for no chandelier. So anyway, <clears throat> and I'm a member, so it probably would have went down to like seven ish, maybe. I think like seven, because you got to be careful with RH. They taxes and they shipping deliveries. That's what be getting you. That stuff add up. So anyway, my girlfriend was in the RH outlet one day, and she was like, "Um, hey, they have the base here." So I'm like, all right, so if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it down below. But me and my husband went on and got the chandelier base, right? Brought the chandelier base home. Then it was the crystals. <laughs> the crystals is what's really expensive, y'all. So, you know, I, we got the crystals or whatever. So now, okay, we got the crystals. That took like a couple months because the crystals was pricey. I ain't going to hold you. They were, they were really pricey. Um, but I still wind up saving like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars in the long run after the member the member price. So now it's time for us to find people to hang the chandelier. So let me tell y'all, I'm trying to get y'all in an angle where I can freaking talk to y'all and I can do my darn bed. Cause I don't really have the time to um but the problem is the lighting. Hold on. Gosh. Can y'all, all right, y'all can't see that. Okay. So the problem was basically finding someone that, you know, can hang this chain to there for a reasonable price. So first of all, when these people come to these houses, always, always, always negotiate with them. I have learned that by living up here with my neighbors. <clears throat> They negotiate. They don't just, if the person say at first, the first price, they do not go with their first price. So anyway, we had a couple people come. They saying 3,500, 2,500, 3,000. I'm like, what? that's the chandelier in the damn self. Hell no, I'm not paying that price. So it got to the point where like, I'm like, oh, like as bad as I want this shit, y'all know that chandelier been sitting in that living room for a long time. So, I'm like, listen, at this point, 
until I find somebody with the right price, I'm just I'm not paying that crazy price. So I asked my neighbor because she she just got her her chandelier hung up, and she gave me the guy number. Right? Uh, why is this so dark, y'all? Hold on. Oh, this is gonna work my whole nerve and so. Why look? It got dark. I'm sorry, guys. My bad. Okay. So she gave me the guy number. He came. And his price was really good. I mean, granted, it was still over a thousand dollars, but compared to two thousand, three thousand, thirty-five hundred, I absolutely said, "Okay, you know." So yes, the problem was he's so booked. He's really booked, and he said this was like his busiest, <clears throat> his like his busiest month because this was a couple months ago. So anyway, make a long story short, he made my my he scheduled me for May thirteenth, y'all. So the other day he called me and was like, hey, um, I was supposed to hang someone's chandelier in Jersey. They medallion is running delayed so I can come Friday, which is today. So I'm like, okay, now y'all know I work. You know, I go to go to the office. But y'all know I wanted to be here when he hang it because one, I want to make sure it's the right level. Also, I wanted to get content for you guys. But sometimes I'm not as comfortable, like when Raphael here, I'm more comfortable with recording content because I know him. This guy, I don't know. So I, I didn't know how I was going to like, like, it's hard to just put a camera in somebody's face. But y'all know I always try to get content for you guys whenever I'm getting something done. So anyway, he was so cool. Loved him and his, so it's basically a family. It's him and his brother, his uncle and his cousin. They're Trinidad. They are such a vibe. So, um, you know, that's that's basically their electrician company. Also, he used to work for Toll Brothers. So if you guys don't know, this house was built by Toll. And he used to work for Toll. He was an electrician for Toll. So he knew where everything was. He knew where he had to go to reinforce the chandelier. Because the chandelier is very heavy. So anyway, make a long story short. My appointment, my, he scheduled me for today. And we're getting the chandelier today. So, I mean, we're getting the chandelier hung today. So, but I just want to say this, never let a price, um, make you make or break you. You can do one or two things. You can either save for it or you can wait for it to go on sale. Cause right now that chandelier is on sale for like 3,500 right now. And it was $9,000. So things do go on sale. It's just all about, do you have the patience to wait for it or not? And me, I feel like I'm not moving no time soon, y'all. Like this is my home, my forever home. So I do feel like I don't mind waiting or investing in pieces. Like certain stuff, I like I said, I will pay, but I wasn't paying on nine thousand dollars. Now, like this chandelier was was a little pretty little penny, but again, I plan on being here for a long time. And then, like, once all my kids are out and everything, then me and my husband want to move to San Diego. Sorry. Me and my husband want to move to San Diego and get, like, a condo or whatever and just just be me and him once all the kids are big. But for right now, I plan on being here for a minute. So investing in my pieces is important to me. So that's why it takes me a little longer to do my home. But anyway, I'm about to throw some clothes on, brush my hair. My hair is a mess. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair, y'all. Cause at this point, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But, all right, let me get dressed and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Three.
Do you need me to get something? You from the hood, mom. <laughs> Video is probably not even gonna share like y'all gonna see it, but in person, it's everything. 
Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Yeah, this one, like, this is beautiful. Hold on. But it doesn't do really justice on camera. But y'all, RH is, I love RH. <laughs> they stuff is just so nice. But alright guys, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a little bit. Alright guys, real quick, I'm going to show you guys the sconces I just got from RH. So, um, y'all remember these um, I got from RH to go in my room. And I brought kind of the same ones, but it's a little different. They're over here. So this is going to go, I forgot to show you guys, but this is going to go in, so it's the same color. And it's just bigger. So I did, um, these are smaller, the ones, but this one is bigger. And they are going here, guys. It's gonna go on this wall right here. It's gonna go up like that. Wait, let me put the piece on. And then the chandelier is the Revel collection from RH. It, it matched with these sconces as well as the sconces that's, I'm in the middle of washing clothes, but the people like swept and everything they left. I'm gonna show you guys the chandelier in a second. But I'm gonna put the glass one just so you guys can see real quick, hold on. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like. It looks just like these over here it just doesn't have the long piece i got this short one because i just i wanted it to be a little different but yeah it's a little different but this is the 18 this is the 18 one and this is a different one in rh but anyway sorry y'all i don't have my tripod i don't know where my tripod is but this is what it's going to look like I'm trying to see where i can samaya she doing her makeup. She about to go on a picnic. But it's gonna look like this. Like that. Oh, it's gonna look so nice. And then I'm gonna like pan and the chandelier is gonna be there. And then I just still have to find some a wall art to go here. And then the other sconce will go there. And then over here, I told you guys before, I'm getting the two pedestals that'll come over here. So I don't know if I wanna put like um like a statue or not even a statue but some type of sculpture something in this corner with the two pedal stools or a big vase i don't know i don't know what i'm doing yet but they should be coming soon so are y'all ready for this reveal i'm about to reveal to you guys what this channel there looks like are y'all ready okay so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without the light and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with the light. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the reveal? Here it is. So freaking beautiful y'all. I wish y'all could be here in person and see it. It is so beautiful like can't even tell you guys like oh my god it's just so nice like in person is given the vibe the anti vibe we want it looks so good this is what it looks like here's the chandelier guys okay so now you guys understand what I was said about the table just putting the table right here with the nice um, centerpiece but it is so beautiful okay so let me just share with you guys what it looks like with the light on and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like at night but here it is it's so beautiful oh my god it's not even like the camera is not even giving justice y'all let me go downstairs and show you guys what it looks like downstairs. But today been like such a exciting day. Oh my god, look at it. It's just so freaking beautiful. It was worth the wait. Look at this. Look at it. Like the video is not even doing freaking justice. I can't even tell you guys. But anyway, so when you walk in the house 
this is what you're greeted upon. So when you walk in, what? And then I'll have the circle table here. So it's just like you walk in. And I just want like a nice grand vibe in my home. So the table, I'm getting a huge mirror to basically cover that whole wall. Um, a huge mirror to cover this wall. You guys already know that I'm adding a little bench here. The three pictures. And I don't know if I want to do the the light or not. What you guys think? Should I still do... Sorry, y'all. They're doing so much on the street. Um, Hold on. Do you guys think I should still do the picture light up here? Look at Penny. Hi, Penny. Should I still do the picture light or what? So basically, the crystals came in one, two, three. Three big boxes. I still have crystals left over for the chandelier. And Raphael will be coming to hang all this stuff up once the mirror come. Once the mirror come, he's coming to hang up all this. So that's why I hurried up and rushed and brought the sconces for the hallway upstairs. So when he come, he can go ahead and do everything he needs to do. Um, so the only thing else we need to buy is a pitcher, um, a pitcher to go up in the hallway. We need to find a pitcher. And then I'll be ordering my couches soon. We finally decided on what couch we are getting. I'm gonna share with you guys what couch we're gonna get. So that is the next big purchase that we will be doing in our home is the couch. Then I'll get the area rug, get the tables, and then go ahead and buy the chandelier that goes down here. And then um, the lamps. And I'm not going to get the accent chairs yet. Instead of getting the accent chairs, I'm going to go ahead, skip the accent chairs, and go in the dining room and get my table for the dining room, the chairs for the dining room, and then my sideboard and the tree. And kind of like finish up the dining room. And then I'll go back and buy the accent chairs. Because I really kind of want the dining room done by Thanksgiving. So each month, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to grab something each month. But this stuff is so pricey. So it's like, yeah. But yeah, y'all, I'm just, I'm excited. Thank you guys for vibing with your girl. I wish y'all could really see it, see it. But, all right, y'all. All right, guys, so I need, y'all, hold on, I gotta move this box back because I can't find my tripod. Okay, so, what do you guys think? Picture light or no picture light? Because remember, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have this bench here, but, Here's the picture light, like, guys. I need to share. I be trying to give y'all the vision, but it be hard. It's hard to give y'all the vision. Babe, 
Perfect. Come here for a second. Hold this up. I'm trying to do you think kiss your leg or don't kiss your leg? This is not that right. Y'all ready to see the chandelier while it's dark? The who? <laughs> the what? Yeah. Habage. Say BK. Happy Saturday, guys. So, what we're about to do is pick up all these rugs. I don't know, like when it's spring and summer, I kind of like a bare floor. And then in the fall and winter, I like to like, you know, add the rugs or whatever. So anyway, we're going to pick this rug up. And we're going to remove this rug as well. And also, we are moving this rug. So it's going to be nice and clean and bare in here. And I'm also moving the rug in the mud room. I'm moving all these rugs, y'all. I just, I just want it nice and clean and airy. So that's what we're about to do. You guys are going to see me move this rug, move this table. Um... But yeah, so further ado, let's go ahead and jump into doing a little cleaning for this kitchen, shall we?
storm, y'all. Look, bad storm. But I just want to show you guys everything. It's clean in here. Everybody does have Samaya got to finish mopping because I'm checked out. But I had to bring all my stuff in from outside because the winds are crazy. So I brought all my stuff in. But all right, y'all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The house is nice and clean. It's stuff like a clean house. I can't wait till I get my furniture, y'all. Oh, Lord. braided chicken breast chunks we get this from Costco's but I'm making this and then I probably make um, some fries or uh, the Stouffer's macaroni and cheese for the kids I'll probably eat a couple of these and I'll probably make some like um, these little vegetable mixed vegetables with it um, preheat oven on 75 23 minutes I should put in an air fryer, but it probably won't take too long. But. All right. My neighbor brought us some cupcakes, which was nice of her. So I'm about to taste and see which one. She made them. So I'm about to taste it and see what it tastes like. But. I ain't doing nothing, y'all. I'm done cleaning. I'm about to relax. I'm about to start editing this video so it can post on time for Sunday because my Sunday is be a little hectic now that I have Cairo soccer games on Sunday and it's a away game. But this one is not too far. Um, also, tomorrow I need to tackle and wash my Hyla hair and braid her hair. So I kind of want to wash it tonight, but I just don't have the energy. It's already 628. Because that way if I wash it tonight, I can just go ahead and braid it. So I might I might just go ahead and wash her hair just so her hair can be already washed. And then I could start braiding it tonight and then just braid the front. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But her, Sam, and Cairo are about to play Roblox. But. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Real quick, forgot to show you guys. I took out my dinner for tomorrow, so I'm going to make some barbecue chicken, yellow rice, probably some strain beans or something like that. But I went on and took this out so it can thaw out, so that way tonight I can wash it, season it, have it prepped and ready to just go in the oven tomorrow. So, yeah. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you.